I want to show something. The difference between the two. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Daniel here and I have a Cosmo and Vector. I'm afraid this is going to be a noisy video. I want to give you an update on uh, shipments and and basically, yeah, I know Cosmo. Um, where is Vector 2.0 and where is Cosmo 2.0? The last updates I uh, well I have been given in the past six months basically, and the very last one, DDL said that they would be shipping. Uh, they said um, the best way or optimistically, I forgot the exact word, before Christmas. Today is December 21st and there is no way I'm going to receive my Cosmo 2.0 or my Vector 2.0 before Christmas. Absolutely no way. I am surprised that DDL uh, did not meet the Christmas deadline because, uh, well, as you know, Christmas is a huge shopping period of the year and it's not happening. So I guess it will be now toward what they call the worst case scenario and that, oh, that was it. Best case scenario before Christmas, worst case scenario before Valentine's Day, February 14. That's exactly what DDL said. So I'm now thinking that I will get my robots maybe in the end of January, maybe. So guys, if you missed my video three years ago, and you probably did, I want to say something here where before Christmas you may want to pre-order a Cosmo or Vector. I get the question all the time and it's been three years now. I want to show something. The difference between the two. And they're not cheap. If you look at the DDL website, um, Cosmo is at $300 Canadian, uh, sorry, US dollars, not Canadian, and Vector is 350, 350 US dollars, and that includes a one-year warranty. If you want three-year warranty, you have, you have the option, you have to pay about $50 US more. Now, the big difference between the two they are both autonomous, as you can see, and Cosmo is currently building a pyramid, and you probably will see that here with the side camera, right there. He's building a, a pyramid, and as you can see here, the app is running. Cosmo, the app on my phone, is not running, so that's the, and he's happy now, and that's the difference, okay? So you need the app running for Cosmo to operate and my tablet is on the cable as you can see because it takes, the app I find takes a lot of juice. So if I want to do this video here, um, I have to keep my tablet connected. For Vector, you can ask questions, questions, but not Cosmo, okay? So you can say, hey Vector, hey Vector. What is the population of New York City? You hear that? He's not connected to the internet. That is the problem with Vector. He has to be connected to the internet. And if he's not, he try to access the app, as you can see. I know, Cosmo, it's disappointing. The app has been running for half an hour, I've been logging in and out, and I cannot connect to Vector. This has been a challenge in making my videos on Vector for the past three years. And I'm going to reduce the sound level because it's a bit noisy. We just go to settings and reduce the sound lot just like that. You can see here, I'm a bit far away because of my cable, but you can see on the side camera, you can play with this volume. I was about to say something about Vector, but listen. Oh, I interrupted his song. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I have too much action on my table here. I have a struggle focusing on the right robot. So I was going to say that it's been a struggle, really, guys, for the past three years to do videos on Vector because my router is right there, 20 feet. 
and often Vector does not connect. And actually, in many of my videos, Vector got disconnected as I was doing my video. For Cosmo, you don't need to be connected. It's just the app, and the app connects by Bluetooth all the time. Uh, other thing also that is a huge difference between the two, Cosmo comes with three cubes, and we saw that he built a pyramid. And he has a ton of animations like we just saw. This was the, uh, the fire truck, which you can also trigger manually going to the app in the games and the animations. So I was saying that um, Cosmo comes with three cubes. He can play around with the cubes, vector only one. And honestly, even when he connects to the cube, which doesn't seem to be the case now, the cube has been, as you can see, black for the past half hour basically before I started the video minimum interaction with the cube huge interaction for Cosmo and for Cosmo you can also go to code lab and I got the bonus box look at that on camera I got the bonus box and I'm get I'm getting sparks which are needed to activate Cosmo to do tricks now Cosmo has games of course but I want to show you code lab again so with code lab you can code Cosmo right there. So you have different games and it's like Scratch on the PC. With Vector, you have to do complicated stuff with Python. It's not very easy. So if you are into programming or you want to show your kids to code with Cosmo or a robot, robot Cosmo is the one to use really. So guys, these are the main differences. Um, with I want to say that with Cosmo 2.0 and Vector 2.0, you will get improved battery life. DDL said that you will get up to 30% improved battery life. You'll have a better camera. So they're going to do um, to improve the software for better face recognition. They also say that the robots will be able to see if it's a cat or a dog if you have a pet in the house. Uh, the display will be color and not as you can see here black and white the same with vector uh, not black and white but monochrome i should say monochrome and uh, you, you'll be able also to remove the battery to change the battery uh, in vector and uh, Cosmo. speaking of batteries these cubes here they don't take a lot of battery but uh, if you use your Cosmo quite quite a bit uh, I think the cubes will last you about one year uh, they lasted about a bit more than that in my case and this is the type of battery that you need I did a video about that it's in my playlist but these are called uh, E90 it's also called LR1 or AM5 or E90 like I said so this is the small it's a small size basically double uh, A uh, battery so you should have a pack of those because they're not easy to find. You can find on Amazon, but uh, at your local shop, it's unlikely that they will have them. So um, let me get out of Code Lab. When you are in Code Lab, Cosmo is going to pause. So I was able to talk now without Cosmo being so noisy. So when you are on the main screen, as you can see here, Cosmo is free to move around. And when he sees the cubes, they turn blue. When he's going to interact with a cube, the cube turns green. So that's a good thing about the visual indication of what Cosmo wants to do. And you also have the display here at the bottom of the app. Now going back to the app for Vector, it's still saying searching for Vector. Now this could be a problem with my Vector, I'm not sure. Uh, sometimes he does connect, but as you can see again now, he's trying to connect, but he cannot get the network. And again, my router is right there. So guys, um, <clears throat> basically there is no update on from DDL. Today is December 21st, like I said. Maybe between now and Christmas, we'll have an update, a, an email from DDL, but not, nothing. So as you can see here, Green Cube, uh, Cosmo is going to... He's setting up a game. Okay, I wonder what game that will be. Because he does that sometimes on his own. He's going to play with the cubes around. And uh, he will want... Oh, he wants to play memory match. Look at that. 
memory match. I'm going to say no for now. If you want to see, he's disappointed. If you want to see the game, it's in my playlist. I did a video about that uh, now more than three years ago. Now I got my custom over four years ago. One thing about the one-year warranty, when I bought them from Enki, uh, four years ago, Cosmo, three years ago, Vector, I never had a problem. But I know, looking at my channel and the comments I get, a lot of people have had problems with the display for Vector, not Cosmo, and with the batteries. The battery is kind of normal after a while, especially if you charge often and you don't let the robot discharge completely you're going to kill the battery just like a cell phone so the new robots you'll be able to replace the battery by i think by yourself i think so i think that's the idea oh and by the way you can buy the cube separately also if you want to buy a cube because one is broken you can now buy them from ddl for 17 dollars us so 17 one seven so that's not very expensive so that's all i wanted to say guys um when i receive my and he's not popping a wheelie you see that and he's all excited now. so you can tell right now the difference between the two i cannot talk to cosmo i can ask questions to vector but he has to be connected to the internet and he's he's not connecting right now so thank you guys for watching and uh, as always if you have any questions let me know and i'll get back to you as soon as i can have a great day goodbye guys <laughs>